Hello, welcome. This is Food with Life. I'm your Shapati, and we're going to do a very special show, or two shows, on yoga, prana, and food. We're here with our wonderful guest here, Mr. Steve Sperber, who is a very skilled, qualified yoga instructor, a teacher of what is the Art of Living Foundation. Yes. And he knows very much about breath, and our wonderful guest, cook here, Miss Elena. And Steve, it tells me you're also a nutritional consultant, yes? That's true. Cleansing coach. Cleansing coach. Very good. So tell us a bit about yoga and how it can help us be more awake and more lively. Yoga is just the unification of the body, the breath, mind, emotions, and spirit all coming together in one whole union. Ah, together. So why is not our body in this state more often? Through stress and strain and the busyness of life, it takes us out of balance. Out of balance. Mm -hmm. So, but don't we want to be more rooted in the body? Yes, you want to be more rooted in the body. Well, I feel like a tree without any roots. And, uh, you know, I feel like I'm being blown all over by the wind. This is a very, very common experience. So what we want to do, Chapati, is do a little few different movements mm -hmm. to get us more rooted into your body, like a tree. So what do we do to start? First, spread the feet about hip width with yes. your toes facing straight. Yes. So look at your feet, look down, make sure they're facing straight. Yes. And then you're gonna inhale and bring the shoulders up to your ears with the head straight, come all the way back, and exhale down, making a circle, yeah. So inhale up, go back and squeeze the shoulder blades on the way down, yeah. You can try just breathing in and out of your nose. That's it. We'll do a few more this way. Excellent. And then opposite. Come up in the back, Chapati. Come forward and down in the front. I have a question. Yes. I'm just wondering, can this help my posture? Absolutely. The reason why we get stiff is partly in the body and partly in the mind. So this loosens us up, enables us to be straighter, more centered, and more sensitive. Hmm. Would this help with other type of problems we could have, maybe? Absolutely. When we're in balance, everything flows more smoothly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to work on the face. We carry a lot of tension and anxiety in the face. All right. What do you think the first sign of stress is in the face? Uh, yeah, it's just when you touch forehead. it. Yeah, we make a frown, you know? Frown. So we get these yeah. lines. Frown, yes. you know? So yes. we're, going to get, we're going to do what's called yogic plastic surgery. Oh, all right. No, no operation? No operation. All right. No knives. So what we want to do is take our thumbs to our forehead like so. Yes. There's a bone above the eyebrows. Yes. And we push down and we go out to the sides of our head. Make a line to the sides of our head. Yeah, and keep breathing while you do this. Yeah, that's good. Keep breathing. Do that about two or three times. Now I'll take these two fingers. Yes. Put them on the top of the nose. There's a bone underneath the eye. Yes. And we're going to press down and go out to the sides of the head. Do we do this with any breathing, anyway? Yeah, you, you want to breathe, otherwise you don't want to faint. So breathe. I mean, what? when do we breathe in and when do we breathe out? Just naturally. Don't think about it. Okay. Mm, just let it come in and out naturally. Okay. Now we're going to do something very funny. You know, we, we get a lot of stress because we talk a lot. So we want to open the mouth as wide as we can. So open the mouth as wide as we can and close it. As wide as we can and close it. Now open the mouth and move the lower jaw quickly left to right. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So we're loosening up the mouth now. The ears, there's a lot of acupuncture points for energy in the ears. So you want to grab the lower ear lobes and go up and down on your ears quickly. 
<laughs> it's fun. And then grab the middle of the years and go out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. I feel like a small boy. Yeah. <laughs> and then the tops of the years go up and down, oh. up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And then bring the arms down, close your eyes, and just take a deep breath in and out and relax. Close your eyes. Close your mouth. Deep breath. And you can open your eyes. Do you feel more alert or more sleepy? Awake. Good. How about you, Elena? Yes. So yoga works from the inside out. Good, good, good. So what would we do after this, you know, with the yoga, and how can it help us perhaps uh, if we have a, a special problem, you know, sometimes maybe we'll go to see a doctor, or how can we uh, stop this? Well, that's a natural thing. We go to a doctor, and they give us a pill. Yes. Right? Yes. And it might get rid of a symptom. Yes. Say we have a headache, it gives us a pill, it gets rid of a symptom. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do with yoga, using the body and the breath, okay, mm -hmm. and awareness, is we want to use natural ways mm -hmm. of restoring balance. And then the symptoms go away, because we're dealing on a deeper level. I see, I see. Okay. So what I'm wondering, though, uh, when you do this, how long does this take to have some kind of a a uh, significant effect. Right. Well, what we're really talking about, in order to really significantly affect the change, yes. we have to deal with what's going on in the mind. This is Food with Life. Welcome back to Food with Life. Oh. That affects the body. So what's going on in your mind right now, Mr. Body? Well, at this very moment, I'm thinking, my wife, she wants me to take out the garbage. I left <laughs> it in the, in the can this morning, <laughs> you know. And I know I have to get to the bakery, and, and there's many, many breads to bake. And I know the boys and girls I, I, in the house, they want me to take them to a game, a soccer game, you know. Mm -hmm. So I have everybody wanting something from me, and they want it now. They're not saying do it later, they want it now. So what can I do for this? Well, this is natural. This happens to everybody. Everybody's experience is people are asking us to do things, and they want it when? Yes. Now. Now. <laughs> now. So yoga is not so much about doing mm -hmm. as about being. You know? Mm -hmm. So first we be, and we think and feel, then we act. So we want to start by thinking about what it is that's happening right now in the moment. So what's going on right now in the moment? I'm thinking about my wife. I'm thinking about my children. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking about I haven't paid my rent yet. <laughs> Right, so do you notice that the mind goes between the past, but the, in, your, in your situation yes. now, it's about future. Yes. You haven't paid the rent, yes. about your wife and everything. Yes. So the mind goes back and forth between the past and the future. Yes. This causes a lot of stress in the mind. Okay? Mm -hmm. yes. So what, what yoga does is it brings our attention and our awareness right to the present moment. And in the present moment, you'll see, we'll do some more yoga postures and see how you feel. All right. Okay? All right. So the next thing we could do is we could bend the knees a little bit, like this. Yes. Okay. And then bring the hands up over the head like this. A little higher, squat a little more. Oh boy. Okay. And now let's all laugh. One, two, three, laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and then come back up. All the way up, take a deep breath in. And this time when we exhale, we're going to go, ah. Oh. One more time, deep breath in. Ah. How does that feel? Very uh, rich, full of energy, full energizing, of energy. Yes. energizing, yes. yes. And laughter is great because laughter, can you laugh in the future? You're, you're laughing, <laughs> I don't know you're how laughing, to do this. You're laughing now. You got rid of yeah, it. It's yeah. true, it's very true. So any other problems you want to discuss that come up in your life? Well. I'm just wondering if this is the way my normal thinking, if this is normal, the way you have this, the, the past and the future going back and wavering from one to the other, you know? I'm not in the, the, the now moment very much. You bring up a very good point. Yes. See, the function of the mind is to think. Yes. Think, think, thought after thought after thought. Yes, yes. Okay? So the key is, how can we go beyond the mind? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that we're not fighting. 
You right. know, you want to be in peace, but we have to do this and this and this, and we right. have to do this. Right. And so there's like a, a push and a pull in the mind. Right. What yoga does is bring us totally into the moment, and then time kind of dissolves. It's not so gripping on us. Mm. Okay? So we could do a little bit more in terms of a, a breathing situation, mm -hmm. and also for a, a little gentle movements. All right. So one of those movements that we can do mm -hmm. is to come down on our knees like so. Mm. We come on our knees, both knees. Yes. We're going to do something to get us strong. This is called a warrior pose. You'd like to be strong in life? Yes. Okay. Bring our left foot forward like so, like so, left foot. The right knee is on the ground. Yes. Bring both arms straight up over your head and start to breathe deep. See if you can touch your fingers to the stars. Look straight ahead, focus on something. Deep breath in, deep breath out. See if you can bring your palms together, Chapati and Elena. See if you can make a steeple. Straighten the elbows. Good. And then come down in front of you, slow motion. And then take a deep breath in and out. And we switch sides. Yoga is about balance. So we want to do the right foot forward. Very good. In slow motion, bring both arms up and move very slowly, deliberately. Keep the breath flowing in and out. Put a smile on your face. Pretend you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> oh, I am. No, <laughs> you can make the palms together and then straighten the elbows. We could stand up one more time. This is Food with Life. Welcome back to Food with Life. So one of the things that we're talking about here is when the body and breath come into balance. Mm -hmm. It's different than sleep. What happens when you sleep? Your body's resting, right? Yes, not a lot, very much alive. Dull. Dull. But where is the mind? Somewhere different. Yeah, we're not aware of anything. Yes. See, in yoga, what's happening is the body gets relaxation, mm -hmm. but the mind is alert. We call this restful alertness. Restful alertness. It's a good name. The restful alertness. The rested body yes. and alert mind. Yeah, see, usually when we're active, mm -hmm. you're baking bread, we're, we're active in our day-to-day -day life, yes. we get exhausted because there's so much activity, mm -hmm. and it's usually associated with tension after the day. We're active yes. all day. Don't you get tense at the end of the day sometimes? Uh, in the middle of the day sometimes. Okay. Yes, yes. So, and then all we know is sleep, where we're resting, but we're not active. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, in yoga, it's the coexistence of the opposites. It brings them together. So you're active, but you're relaxed at the same time. Speaking about the opposites, I know my wife and I are opposites many times. Tell me about that. I know in the morning, uh, I get up at four. Mm -hmm. I go to the bakery at five, mm. and I start to work. She stays in the bed sleeping to seven, eight o'clock, you know. So. And then she wants me at night to stay up past 11 at night and watch a movie. A little bit of a challenge. Huh? Very much challenge. Mm. I need more rest than she needs. Mm. You know, I have a big demand day and she has one, but it's not uh, in the same way. So what we find is everyone has different rhythms. You might have noticed with your employees, some of them are more energetic in the morning. Yes. Some of them are more tired in the morning. Yes. Some of them are more energetic at noon or in the evening, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we do in yoga is through the body and the breath and gentle movements coming into the moment, it harmonizes our natural rhythms. Yes. So we become more in harmony with our own rhythms, emotions, mm -hmm. thoughts. And when we're more in harmony with our own emotions and thoughts and body, it yes. makes it easy to be in harmony, for you to be in harmony with your wife. Mm. You think that would be a good idea. thing? Well, it's an interesting idea, but i tell you another thing that happens. Mm -hmm. In the morning, you know, I have so much energy. Mm. At the bakery, I take a lunch time, mm -hmm. you know. I have a sandwich or something to eat food or some potato or something. And I go back to work in the bakery. I feel a, a bit tired after a short time, and I feel sleepy. You know, there's a, it's hot in there, and there's heat and all this. And I, I, my breathing is, is shallow, um, I, I'm, I don't know what, I don't take in much air, 
I don't know what this is all about. Can you say something here? Yeah, you know, what's associated with energy is something called the life force or prana. In, in the East, they call it prana, or in China, they call it chi. 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 China. Chi or China. Chi in China. Chi in China. <laughs> tea, tea in China. <laughs> oh, right foot. Okay, good. And, and the, the thing is that this prana fluctuates through the day. It goes up and down. It goes up and down. And one of the things that reduces prana is heat. So if you're working in a bakery and the heat is very, very oh. intense, it robs the energy from us and we get very tired quickly. I'm going to talk to the boss. We need to get the air conditioning. That could air help. Air conditioning be cooler. That could help. <laughs> now the other thing is if you can't control what's happening in the environment, yes. let's say it's a month before that happens, yes. we can show you different kinds of breathing and, and procedures that you can do mm -hmm. to change your own environment, mm -hmm. to bring air conditioning inside. So you change your yeah. inner environment so the outside environment isn't so oppressive to you. So you have more energy and you can balance that out. Uh, explain to me how this is possible. Okay. There's one breath you could do if you could take your right thumb. Yes. And Elena, you can do this too. Bring your right thumb against your right nostril. Close yes. your right nostril and rest the two fingers on your forehead. Okay. Yes. So just breathe in and out of the left nostril. Nice and long without holding the breath. We'll just do this a few times. You can close your eyes if you like. Nice and smooth and long. And you can relax your hands down. What did you notice? Comfort. Mm -hmm. Ease. Mm -hmm. You said, settle down. Mm -hmm. This is Food with Life. This is Food with Life. And Elena, did you notice anything? Yeah, cooling. Cooling. This breath is known as the lunar breath. The moon is cooling. Yeah. Interesting. See? So when you do that, you close off the right nostril and you're just breathing in and out of the left nostril, yes. it cools the whole system. Mm -hmm. So if your car air conditioning goes out, you live in a hot summer, where do you yeah. live normally in India? Oh, in this common, this small area, mm -hmm. lots of bread makers. Mm -hmm. It is a small area between India and Pakistan. It's it hot in the summer. Very hot. Mm -hmm. yeah, the heat was invented there. <laughs> <laughs> it was nowhere on earth until it was there, and then it spread around. Well, you know, you're talking about the hot and cold. You yes. know, within the bodies, yes. they have these highways, and they're called nadis. There's like 72,000 of them. Nadis? Mm -hmm. Naughty, 72,000. How do they know? Who counted this? <laughs> yes? Yeah, there was somebody a long time ago. Yeah, it sounds like the number of roads in India, <laughs> 72,000. And are they paved? Yes? Are they paved? Hey. That's a great question. I don't know. It's a great question. <laughs> but we do know this, that it's these highways where the energy, the life force, the prana flows. And when it flows in an easy, effortless manner, yes. your prana or the energy is high, yes. depression goes away. Oh, interesting, interesting, yes. And when they're, they're blocked, when the highways are blocked, like there's uh, blockages in the road, so to speak, Yes. and the car's got to stop, Yes. You're, you get backed up, mm -hmm. the energy doesn't flow so good, mm -hmm. and that's when sickness takes hold. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the idea is, you can start to control how the energy mm -hmm. moves in your body. Mm. Would it be practical to know how to control that? Yes. How? <laughs> this one, we just showed you is one. Yes. Okay. We could do a few more yoga postures. Would you like to do that? Yes, but I was also wondering about uh, um, some type of this. I know when you eat food, mm. you get tired. If we don't eat food or something, don't eat so much food, um, would that help? Yeah. Eat less food or less drink? You know? It's not only the quality of the food. How much food? Yes. When we eat the food? Yes. The mood we're in when we eat the food? Yes. So one tip you could do is whenever you eat some food, mm. at the end of the meal, there are three ways you can feel generally. All right. Okay? You could feel very bloated and gassy and full. Yes. Not a very comfortable feeling. No, no, right. no. You could feel neutral. Yes. Or you could feel light and buoyant. Mm, mm, yes. Right? Yes. So if you eat a meal, Take note, become more alert and aware how you feel after. You might keep a journal for a week or 10 days. All right. And then you can associate that with what foods may be causing your problem. Like in our country, we have a lot of Mexican restaurants. Yes, yes. So if I eat a big burrito with cheese mm -hmm. and beans, 
My stomach gets very full. When you say this, it makes me think that I don't want to eat so much. You know, how we, how we can go for a while, perhaps, without eating so much food. Do you know something about this? Yes. Um, every now and then, it's a good thing to do some cleansing. All right. All know? right. All because right. there's so much pollution in the environment, right. toxins in the environment, mm. in the food supply. Mm -hmm. So every now and then, we do some nutritional cleansing, where we clean out every cell of the body, at the same time put in superior organic nutrition because of the fact of two things. One, you may ask about the filters. Do you know about the filters in the body? Not at all. Like you have filters in a car, right? Mm, I hope. Air filter, I hope we do. Yes, oil we do. filter, right? So in the body we have a um, lymphatic system. Mm -hmm. This gets rid of toxins. We have the skin, which perspires and gets rid of impurities to the skin. Breathing in the lungs, mm -hmm. kidneys, liver, intestines, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay, all of these are our natural filters. Mm -hmm, yes. The challenge today is that we have an overload of toxins in the environment. Mm. So our filters are overworked. Yes, you very much. Very and then much. the other part of it is of what you were saying. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we eat a lot of food and it doesn't feel good, Yes. but it's also the wrong kinds of food, right? Oh yes, yes, toxin, toxin food, yes. Also a lot of foods with empty calories. You have a lot of calories, but not a lot of nutrition, right? right? So this is all over the world. A lot of societies are nutritionally yes, bankrupt. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So the key is to get organic superior nutrition in, and that'll be a, a solution for long-term health. Right. Make sense? Yes, I think that's a good idea. Thanks for watching Food with Life.